David, this is a good story. This is your first Fanuc Robo drill, isn't it? How long has it been here? It's been here just over a month now. And what was the reason behind you buying this machine tool? The main reason for buying this was we were doing some small aluminium parts on a, an existing machine, which was an old machine with about 12,000 revs. Um, we needed to up the volume and increase the productivity, and the Robo drill seemed the ideal machine to do it with its... Uh, it's a, a more agile machine, it has a lot higher revs. You've got the BBT30 spindle taper on here, so you've got quite a lot of power on this machine as well, haven't you, and quite a lot of stability for your machining? Yeah, it's really good for, I mean, we don't do heavy machining, it's only aluminium, but for the metal removal, it, it works really well, and it's the first BBT spindle we've got, so. Uh... And how fast is this machine, when you look at it in terms of that spindle, how fast does it go? Uh, it's 24,000 rev spindle, and, and it's, no, it's twice as fast as the old machine we have. And the reason behind the purchase here, you, you've got a potentially a contract that you're going to win, haven't you? And quite interestingly, you've bought the machine before you've won the contract. That's quite the reverse to how some people often do it. Why is that the case? Yeah, what we needed to do on this contract was to prove to our customer that we could produce the parts in the time that they needed us to produce it and to get to the cost. The only way to do that was to invest in a machine. So we got an agreement with them that hopefully if they win orders, they'll give us orders. Uh, and that gave us the confidence to buy a new machine, which was a different machine than we'd, we'd had uh, ever before, really. Um, and you were also very impressed with the turnaround. Tell, tell me the story behind how, when you placed the order to when the machine was here. Yeah, well, we went to see our customer on a Friday. We placed the order for the machine that afternoon and the machine was then with us about a week after that and we'd produced the first parts in less than four weeks. And the machine came complete here with a, a fourth axis unit, didn't it, and some vacuum work holding, correct? Yes, when we, well, when we got the machine it didn't have the uh, fourth axis on, so we had that interfaced and the uh, vacuum work holding, which was existing that we'd had on the other machine, so that was integrated into the machine as well. I also find what's interesting about these machines is this is a longer bed version. So no longer are Fanuc Robo drills kind of drill tap machines. They're, they're machining centers, aren't they? Yeah, they are. And that's what attracted us to this machine. Um, because we are purely subcontract, um, we never know what the next job's going to be. So it gives us that bit more versatility and enables us to compete with work that a standard Robo drill maybe you wouldn't do. And when you look at Newberg as a company, a lot of the work that you do here is huge, isn't it? I mean, you are a, a manufacturer of, of all sorts because this just opens up a complete new market for you, doesn't it? Yes, we needed to diversify uh, following the downturn in oil and gas. And one of the things we looked at was doing something completely different to what we'd done historically. And this was the ideal thing for that. It takes us into a whole new potential marketplace. What gave you the confidence in Fanuc to buy a robo drill? Well, we've, we've dealt with Fanuc a long time on controls, mainly on lathes, um, but the Robo drill seemed to be the machine to go for, for machining small aluminium parts, really. And, and machining them fast? And machining them extremely fast, yes. 